What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we are with your sleeper simulant quest line in less than five minutes explained to you my friends. As you guys saw on Earth, the first firewall mission. Entering that mission my friends, kill this big old knight and you will receive your curious transceiver. Guys, this quest is not hard at all and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get it done. Once you receive that curious transceiver, you're going to have to open it up in your inventory, press Y or triangle, and you have to enter four codes. Now these codes that you put in, I will put in the description below and they'll be either one or two. One resembling up, two resembling down. As you see, you can do this. You can actually do this, these codes just by guessing like and then boom that little bottom right thing pops up and you have to do four codes now these codes resemble the four waves that you fight before you kill the knight in the first firewall strike and it pretty much spawns hive and fallen and it's the code is in the order of which spawns first the hive or fallen so the hive resembles up and fallen resembled down so this pretty much tells you that the second wave and the third wave and the fourth wave of what what spawned first it was hive Fallen high, fallen high, fall. It's so cool how how that works, and you know I got a tip from someone else about this, one of my friends, and I really think that if you guys want to you know decipher the code yourself, then don't even look at this or don't look at the description below. But if you don't care and you want to save time, then go ahead and go there. Once you've entered all four codes, you have to do the shadow call mission. It unlocks on Earth, and you have to do it in less than four minutes, my friends. Yep, four minutes. Pretty much a speed run of this mission by yourself. You can't die at all. And my recommendation to you is make sure your light level is high. Make sure you have the right weapons. Make sure that you are just ready to run fast. Because all you really got to do is run past all the enemies and make it to the three witches at the end with... Well, I make it every time with two minutes left. And trust me, guys, I'm not a pro. I don't think anyone can really call themselves a pro in this game. And it took me like three tries to do this. So don't be disheartened. You might get a little mad. Okay, I will tell you this. You might get a little mad. There was a time where those hive did not let me go through the door and it was so annoying. Um, but just run past everything. Get to the witches. I used uh, a heavy rocket launcher. I used uh, my tether as a hunter, night stalker, and the red death. And it worked pretty well for me. You know, I got done with a minute to spare. Um, pretty decent speed run if I do say so myself, uh, but don't worry guys, you'll get it. This is probably the hardest part of this sleeper simulant quest line, um, and yeah, so there's that. Uh, but keep in mind, with a guide to show you how to do this in less than five minutes, it just shows you that it doesn't take long to get all this done. I, I did it in a day, you guys can definitely do it in a day as well. Um, I will tell you this though at the end when you get everything done in this video You're gonna have to wait till next reset and then you have to go from there But once you finish the shadow call you get the Ekelos Fusion core. It's a five-step thing pretty much to sum it all up You have to do the archive mission you have to dismantle a heavy weapon heavy rocket launcher and you have to um, Defend the war sat on three planets, which I'll get to but here we are getting the archive mission done then the next step, you're going to see me dismantle a year one rocket launcher. Yes, those year one rocket launchers will finally pay off. And ironically, I did um, dismantle the uppercut payload. So I guess it did pay off. But there that is. It's done. And then you have to do the war sat, defend the war sat on Mars, the moon, and Earth. Now, this is probably the most annoying part of doing all this because you, you could get like the target public events and it's it's just a pain to finally get the worst out but anyways we got it then you pretty much go to the last step of the Ikilos. i just stuttered Ikilos fusion core i probably butchered that really bad but who cares you get it done you take it to the gunsmith you turn it in and now you just wait for the next day where you will get the quest the sleeper stirs and then all you have to do is defeat the fallen saber strike level 280 and it also has matchmaking and then you go back to the gunsmith and talk to him after you get it done and boom you get your sleeper simulant it's so crazy but thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't a big thumbs up if you haven't i'll see you in the next video peace out guys i love you all